Yes, uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, really appreciate taking the time to spend a few minutes with us. Um, obviously, uh, we're all we're really excited to have Connor uh, to to have um, Claude and Gavin here, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're really happy that uh, Cold signed on board with us. Uh, just uh, I I'd be I'd feel bad if I didn't thank a few people here. Um, I'd like to thank the board, um, Sheldon, John, and Larry for their support, and I'd also like to thank uh, Anna and Olivia for their support and all the moves that we've done in the last few weeks. Questions? Claude, was it a huge plus that you're able to walk to work? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, but I probably could. But, uh, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, obviously you think about it uh, during uh, your whole career, and but that uh, was the first time uh, after the season, a couple weeks after, I actually had a, a thought and, um, you know, started thinking about it. And the more I thought about it, it made, it made a lot of sense. And, and this team, it's just one thing that uh, I remember from playing last year is just, they're just a team that you're not, you don't like to play against. They're, uh, uh, they're, they're a pain in the, in the butt to, to play against. And, uh, they have a lot of character. They have guys that have a, a lot of skills. Obviously, a young, a young team, but uh, you know, it's just something you want to be a part of. Where did your excitement level go when you saw moves being made by uh, the general manager, uh, as an example, the break that game? So. Yeah, there was a lot of emotions. I mean, uh, you're nervous, you're excited, and then you could be scared, and then you're, you start thinking about it a little bit too much, and um, you know the moves that. Uh, uh, that Pierre was able to do the last the last few weeks. It's uh, um, obviously helped my, uh, my my choice a lot, and uh, I'm very excited. Pierre, could you maybe talk about how this particularly came together and, and, and why you think Claude is a good fit here? Well, everywhere I've been going in the last in Ottawa in the last two months, everyone's asking me, "Are you signing Claude?" I can't go to the grocery store, can't go to the beer store, can't go to the liquor store, can't go anywhere. So, thank you. You pretty much saved <laughs> my life with that question. So, for us, you know, obviously, I know people are going to have a hard time believing this, but I remember sitting with Eugene in the, that year of February, and I said, "I know one guy I want to sign," and I think. In four years, I looked up when Con Claude's contract was due and said, he's going to help us to that ne next level. And we're talking a long time ago when we decided to do this rebuild. And when you get a chance uh, to add a player of Claude's caliber, you know, you, you just look at the package. It's, it's the skill. It's the leadership. It's the intangibles as far as wanting to win. Someone that's had long playoff runs uh, who still, as of last year, was almost a point of game. Uh, you know, he was a one, on one of the best teams. You know, he was the he was the one player that I think a lot of cup contending teams were after. Uh, so, to to be able to have a, a player of this caliber to our lineup that you know we've already feel that we've already improved um, was just something that you know uh, was just something that I think it it excites us as an organization. I know DJ is very excited. I know a lot of our core players are very excited. Uh, I'm told that our fans are very excited from the reaction that I've been told that you know they're having, and it, it was just time for us to take this step and to show that uh, you know we mean business this year, and we mean business you know for the next few years come you know going up. The conversation was very short with Pat today. We'd like to sign Claude. He'd like to come. We figured out a few structures. We argued for about five minutes on structure, and it was done pretty quickly. You, uh, you you mentioned right off the top the support you've gotten from the ownership structure that's in place. Can you expand on that a little bit more in terms of, um, it seems like you have more financial flexibility this summer than maybe you've had in the past. And um, is it, was, Or I guess, it, was this always part of the plan? Was it, was this always, the it, it was always part of the plan. Uh, both obviously the board who I've reported to, even when Eugene was alive, they've been great, uh, you know, as far as support. Um, you know, they ask questions, you know, they, they ask him, Sheldon yesterday asked me some really good questions. I said, we're going to try and make a pitch for Claude tomorrow. And he's asking, you know, and I hope you're not offended by this. He goes, is he all of famer? I said, without a doubt, <laughs> you know, that was my answer. And, you know, to add a player of this caliber was for us a, a no brainer. And, you know, they've been great support. And I got, t I got a chance to spend time with uh, Anna Olivia at the draft and 
Um, I called them uh, after call got done today, and they were very happy for the organization. I think all of them are, you know, we've had a few difficult years here. And, again, when you get that, a player of whether it's Alex, Cam Talbot, Claude, you know, it's, they're, they're impactful players. You know, Cam Talbot was an all-star last year. Alex Brinkett scores 40 goals a year on a pretty regular basis. Um, so for us to, to be able to do this was always part of the plan. Um, I'm not going to tell you when. He, he probably does remember the first time we met. I was a scout with the New York Rangers. We had, uh, we had supper at Eastside Mario's in Orleans a long time ago. Um, so he, he's always someone personally I've, I've admired. You know, when, you know, when you get a a chance to get someone of this talent to our organization. It's like a no-brainer. And the, the the board and Anna and Olivia were of great support in, in everything we've done. But I think they're really excited about this one. How much do you think he can help your young centers? Well, I was talking to a GM, who, who I'm not going to say who it was, and he said that when Claude played them last year, in the last five minutes, he took every draw and won every draw. So that's pretty good by my. I think he's second or third. I, I hope I, I hope I'm not off as far as faceoffs. And you know, I, I think when you start the play with the puck is better than starting it without the puck. So I think uh, it, he'll be great. You know, it's, it's another thing. You know, and I want to make sure I talked about it. And, in my 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 statement is that how good he is like it's intangibles that people don't talk about that he brings to the table you know uh, and just talking to him after we sign him you know he, he wants to win here uh, you know it's you hear that but you feel it in his voice how how it's genuine it is and it's going to be the little things like that he helps I'm sure you know let's not fool ourselves Brady's the captain here but having someone of his leadership help those younger guys is going to help it's not just on faceoffs it's every other thing that that Claude brings to the table. Claude, will you reach out to Tim Stutzla at any point here? I mean, uh, just to say I'm here and I want to help, or, or the other young guys too, not just Tim. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you come to a new team, uh, obviously you uh, guys talk in the league, you know a little bit who's who and uh, what kind of guys they are. So, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, you want to reach out to, uh, I'll try to reach out to most of the guys, and uh, most of the guys will probably be here in, in August. and. Um, you know, I'm a strong believer in uh, uh, in team bonding and playing for one another and and uh, all, all that kind of stuff. So, um, but obviously, I'm I'm excited to see. I heard a lot of great things about uh, about, about Tim, um, how how great of a player he is, and uh, I'm definitely very excited to uh, to start working with him. How good of a team, Claude? Do you think this can be? Sorry. How good of a team do you think Ottawa can be in a year or two? That's a great question. Um, <clears throat> you know, the pieces that. Pierre was able to, to add, and all those young players uh, had great years last year, and they're only going to get better. So, you know, are we going to win the cup next year? I don't know, probably not. I'm not saying we won't, but I'm just saying probably not. But it's something that we have a full year to, to build on, to, to work on our game, uh, to get an identity. And I think when we do that, that's when we're going to start being dangerous. Uh, you don't get an identity within t 10 games in the season. Uh, it takes a while, but uh, when you start getting an identity and you know how you, how you want to play and what kind of team you want to uh, be, that's when you start winning hockey games. Claude, when you were here with Florida, I know you didn't dress, didn't play in that game, but there were some fans that had signs up on the boards, you know, Claude, come home, those sorts of things. When you see that, how did that play into your motivation also, just that this city wants you here? Uh, yeah, it definitely played a, a role. I mean, uh, I usually don't uh, read Twitter too much, but uh, uh, it was good to kind of see uh, uh, the Sands fans just wanted me to come home and come here and play, uh, play for the Sands. And, um, you know, it's always something that I wanted to do. Uh, but uh, I'm just excited to be here. I'm, I, I, I wish camp was tomorrow and we can get this thing going, but uh, uh, I just got to wait a few months here. Were you ever close to signing elsewhere? Uh, not really. I obviously looked at other options, uh, seeing what uh, what was going to be best for uh, for my family and myself and my career. And uh, at the end of the day, the, the more I thought about it and all the options, uh, Ottawa was my uh, 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 the one that I wanted to uh, to follow. So um, it's great that uh, uh, it, wor it, it worked out great with uh, uh, with dealing with, with Pierre, and um, we can just look forward now.
Have, have you thought at all, Cloda, how much fun it might be to have two balanced power play units? Because right now it looks like a legitimate top six here. Like you guys might be pretty, uh, pretty balanced over over two units. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's always good to have two good power plays, one A, one B, and whoever's clicking, whoever's going at that time, you put them on. I mean, kind of, it's a healthy competition. Uh, it motivates guys to don't take it for granted, and. Uh, I mean, at this point, you look at the lineup, I don't think we have a choice to have two power plays. So uh, uh, it's going to be, uh, I think it's, it's good to, like I said, a healthy competition. Um, but also it depends on who has chemistry with who. And uh, I think that's one thing. You can have two great players, but they just can't play together. So uh, that's something that coaches and players will just going to have to, uh, to kind of deal with. We'll take one or two more in the English here. Yeah. Um, I know at the uh, exit meetings, you said Brady Kachuk came to you with, with a list, right? That it kind of been compiled from yep. the players within the room about kind of some wants and hopes. Um, was Claude Giroux on it, or at least the idea of, of trying to build a team that would attract? I'll let Brady answer that, but I think Brady's pretty happy. We'll let him speak for himself, though. What, what next, Pierre? Uh, any movement toward a, another defenseman or any other moves that you have planned? Obviously, we're, we're happy about the moves that we've done over the last two weeks. Uh, we've always said, you know, try to find me a team that's not looking for a top four defenseman, and there's not many out there. So we, we know what we have to do. If, we can, if the, we can make the team better, we definitely will do that. Um, but I think today is, is a day for Claude. You know, it's great for our fans, great for the organization. I think great for him and his family. Uh, to be in Ottawa here. Uh, his parents live close by. I think Mrs. Giroux is very happy, you told me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so today is about Claude, and I, we got lots of time to talk about other things later on. You want to go ahead and finish? Uh, oui, Claude. Uh, tu as fait partie de très bonnes équipes. Tu as affronté des bonnes équipes en série aussi, comme les Blackhawks, les Lightning. Tu dois avoir une bonne idée maintenant de ce qui fait une équipe spéciale. C'est quoi la différence entre une équipe compétitive Une équipe d'élite dans les championnats? Oui, je pense que c'est ça, c'est euh, l'identité de, de l'équipe. Si, euh, quand quand tu as une équipe jeune, puis euh, l'année passée, euh, euh, je peux penser à, à, à beaucoup de joueurs qui euh, ont eu une saison meilleure que l'année d'avant, puis ils vont, juste, ils, 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 ils vont juste continuer à, 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 à s'améliorer. So, je pense que quand tu as li, euh, une bonne identité, puis tu es capable de, euh, de travailler en, en En, en équipe et de pouvoir s'améliorer de même, c'est ça qui va faire la différence. Tu le capitaine des Flyers pendant une dizaine d'années, de te joindre à une équipe où le vestiaire est mené par Brady puis Thomas Chabot, est-ce que c'est attrayant pour toi de, oh, de ben, plus un, un leader effacé peut-être dans, dans le vestiaire? Ah, oh, ben, j'ai toujours pensé que tu n'as pas besoin de d'un euh, C ou un A pour être un leader. Je pense que euh, moi, je vais venir ici puis. Euh, je vais juste aider moi-même à euh, faire ce que j'ai fait euh, à Philly puis en Floride. Je ne euh, suis pas un gars qui parle bien ben beaucoup, mais de temps en temps, je pense que euh, quand tu as un peu, un, un peu d'expérience, tu es capable de parler un petit peu plus. Puis euh, tu as déjà passé à travers de, euh, de plusieurs situations. Euh, mais vraiment, je vais juste aider moi-même. Puis c'est euh, pour être leader, tu ne peux pas changer qui tu es ou quoi tu fais. Il faut juste que tu es toi-même. Ah, il y a plusieurs facteurs. Euh, je pense que premièrement, c'est euh, euh, le hockey. Tu, tu regardes l'équipe euh, qui ont comme c'est là, euh, les joueurs qui ont été cherchés. Euh, c'est quelque chose de vraiment excitant um, de pouvoir parler avec euh, euh, avec mes amis qui restent ici, puis euh, ma famille, puis euh, ma femme, puis mes enfants. Je pense que Euh, ça, c'est une autre chose. Puis à quel point c'est rafraîchissant pour toi d'être un acheteur plutôt qu'un qu vendeur, tout d'un coup? C'est beaucoup plus plaisant. Surtout euh, quand on peut aller chercher un joueur de la trempe de Claude. Euh, comme j'ai dit en anglais, avec son talent, ses qualités de, de leader, euh, toutes, les, toutes les choses qu'il apporte à la table, euh, c'est encore un joueur qui produit très bien. Euh, je pense qu'il va bien s'intégrer dans notre groupe. Donc, c'est énormément plaisant d'être un acheteur. We'll take one last one now and then break for the floor. Uh, L'année passée, tes leaders, tes jeunes leaders, Brady, Thomas Chabot, ont, ont pris du galon. Ils ont grandi. Fait que dans ce rôle, dans cette optique-là, 
comment tu le vois, le, le leadership de, de Claude se greffer au, au groupe? Je pense que Claude, il, il a mieux répondu que moi, je pourrais jamais le répondre. Tu sais, t'es pas obligé d'être quelqu'un qui, qui, qui parle toujours, je pense, juste en regardant, si on regarde, regarder Claude tout au long de sa carrière. Il n'y a pas beaucoup de matchs qui ne jouent pas à 100 Puis je pense, juste un exemple sur la glace, tout le monde va le suivre. Euh, je pense, juste sa présence dans notre chambre, euh, sans qu'il parle, je pense, ça, ça va juste être bon pour tout le groupe. Je, pas pour, juste pour Brady puis Thomas, mais tu, là-dedans, tu peux rentrer, rentrer Drake, tu peux rentrer Josh, Tim Stutzel. Tu sais, il y a beaucoup de ces joueurs-là que je pense que Claude va avoir un, un impact positif à, dessus. Thank you very much, We all do. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much.